Good day guys, coming here. Welcome to Langriza 3.0 news from the future. So a very great um, thanks that um, the official Langriza mobile app has actually um, disclosed this information. So yep, all information um, shared belongs to the Langriza mobile app game. So the latest information after following the two new upcoming characters three more characters will be having their three C skills released. So first off will be our Langriza, three, uh, Langriza 5 uh, leading characters, Lambda, and followed by the record of Lotus War um, collaboration hero, Ashram, and then followed by the Trills of Sky support characters, Oliver. Okay, so without further ado, we will continue and showcase you. So, yep, first off will be Lambda. All right, um, the tree C skill will be known as uh, Breath of a Sacred Tree. Um, in the English version, they might change to Breath of Eudrasia. So, who know? Eudrasia, Breath of Eudrasia, sorry. So, yep, um, magical attack. It deals so it deals magical damage, um, a cooldown of five turns, and the shooting range starts from herself and is a five square or tile. So actually, is quite um, similar um, to the way how Rachel is casting. So yep, okay. So it has two um, kind of way of using the skills. It actually has both um, passive and active skills. So first off with passive, um, when the characters is in forest, they're immune to attack and intelligence and unable to cast active skill. So right, so this has a great synergy with her passive, um, can't remember the name but um, it actually makes her treated as uh, as though she's being as though she's in the forest or uh, not to mention she has a great synergy with um delete which um the sk her skill actually makes your ally who are near to her to be treated as staying in the forest so okay so continue on her active skill okay it's a magical damage so deals damage to five square or tiles to enemy 0.35 times of damage and um, makes enemy units gain this um, negative buff which is um, when they try to actively attack or during their turn when they attack damage deal will be reduced by 20% this effect lasts for two turns And then, at the same time, um, all squ squares and tiles that are being hit or being affected uh, in the range, um, they will have this following effect which actually lasts for a turn. So is um, I guess I'm going to call it um, a quiet breath or breath of silence. So, okay. Um, When enemy um, are at the affected tiles or squares, crit will be critical will be reduced by a thirty percent. Okay, so let us have a look at the animation skirmish. So okay, let's look at it again. So yep, this will be Lambda's three C skills animations. So look at those jingly puff. So let's look at it again. All right, that's enough. So yep, okay. Um, um, how do I say it? Um, I have no dispute with the passive and um the five squares or tiles um damage, but I would like to say that um. What I feel um, makes do not have a great impact or not get me so excited is um, the effect that effect on tiles actually only lasts for one turn because um, 
currently most characters with their three C's, like for example, Rico Rice um, and the new Landers, where um, they actually affect their tiles between two to three turns. I, if I can remember correctly, um, but. Uh, but definitely a minimum of two turns so um, only giving lambda a one turn uh, effect is kind of now I guess um, hopefully in future they will do something about it okay so I um, think I'm gonna skip the part about um, how those creators feel so because instead of how those creators feel I think it's important on how player like you and me feels actually guys so okay how did you think about it uh, is it good or bad leave it down in your comment sections okay moving forward to the second character Ashram from the record of Lotus World so yep um, the three C skills will be called Sing Fong Salu okay basically I I guess I'm gonna call it um, Storm demo demolition, uh, demolition storm. Yep. Um, can't really think of a better way to translate it. Sorry, guys. So yep. Okay. Moving on. It's a single targeting skills and its physical damage, and a shooting range of one. Okay. So. Um, the effect, first effect, will be attack a single enemy, do 1.7 times damage. And before battle, um, they will gain the skill um, Imperial Win or Protection Win. So, okay, the effect lasts for two turns. And every time you use these skills, the damage will be permanently reduced by 15 percent to a maximum of 30 percent then after battle you can move for another three tiles then if there is no ally one squares or tiles around you these skills will be replaced to the skill demolition Okay, so one thing I actually forget to announce is that there is no cooldown for these skills, guys. So apparently, um, got to rephrase myself, it's a physical damage skills with no cooldown, the shooting range of one and targets one enemy. Okay, so um, when you use these skills, as long as there is ally beside you on one tile, um, this skill will have um, is a free free skill that has no cooldown. However, um, once you have left or you're not nearby your ally, uh, who is one square or house beside you, the skill will be changed to demolition. So, um, in case you guys might forget or not know about this skill, demolition, um, demolition has a passive skills um, of reviving. Um, Ashram, so one, when he he's, um, got killed in battle, he'll be resurrected uh, with 20% HP. So um, here's another skill that part of the demolition is uh, both passive and active. It can also deal uh, a 1.x time damage to enemy. So um, you can actually stack up two dem uh, one demolition and with this um, demolition win or crimson demolition so it can actually give you two demolition effect when you're not um, around your ally okay so we're gonna have a look at how his animation will look like So yup, so this is how his animation will look like. It looks very cool and bloody red. Okay, so moving on to the next no, before we move on, so we're gonna have a look. Um
So yep, um, according to the creator, it has been proven um, that for the for this skill actually um, kind of give uh, Ashram some passive defense to better protect him and to make sure kind of like to provide that um, the stability of the damage and also part of it I believe fairness of the game the, um, these skills without CD will actually um, have its damage reduced um, by the maximum of 30% and then so beside that so once you have leave your ally um, the skills will be changed to his um, existing 2C skills demolition so apparently it has been proven that um, with this Ashram will be able so if, if you actually have a whole one demolition in hand so it's proven that Ashram will be able to have two times of resurrection so yep it's a very cool thing that um, apparently these skills can actually stack so we can actually well congratulations able to die two times <laughs> okay so moving on to one of the most lovable characters Oliver so yup um, okay based on the translation um, Pao Xiao Dan e, so it's gonna be called Roaring Bullets 2 so okay it's a physical damage with a uh, 5 turn cooldown, a shooting range of 3 and effect range um, is uh, for 4 squares or tiles, 4 is kind of 4 by 4 okay so um, descriptions of skills, so it's just uh, active skills so attack, um, it's an AOE that damage multiple enemy, deal 0 0.38 times um, area damage and cause enemy damage with a second effect damage to be reduced by 20% and the damage they will receive will be increased by 20% so both of these effects last for 2 turns and coming on to the third effect at the same time there is a 15 chance for all enemies that are being hit or affected by the skills they will have um, it will cause them to have a 15% chance to be unable to attack and last for a turn so all this effect um, is not stated that clearly by presume all three effects are unable to be dispelled so I gotta say this is a pretty strong effect um, though the chance of happening is very low but think about it if it happens or trigger it might be a big tight changer for the game or game changer so yup okay looking at how the animations of the skills gonna look like Okay, so here you go. Roaring Bullets 2. And yep, looking at how the creator say, so yep. Mm. Okay, not much about it. So they're just describing his talent at 100%. Can um increase his attack so his output will be very high and with the tree c it can better um with the negative debuff towards enemy it can um better assist your ally and greater synergy with other skills so okay that's all um but the thing is that um the cd of the skill itself is kind of long 5 turns so who knows players might might want to have a thought to change his enchantment to clock um, but that then again it will reduce his damage output too so how did you guys think leave down in the comment sections okay then um, okay moving on will be just repeated characters from the previous video that 
Okay, we're gonna have a look at the animations. So this time, um, full animations is being uploaded. So Hilda, uh, which um, based on the Chinese translation, I would prefer to call her Hilda. Okay, look at those bigger jingly pop than Lam does. Woohoo! Let's look at it again. Okay, One Chan type. Okay, so last but not least, Water or Warner. Warner, sorry. Okay, this is his animations, ultimate form. So, yep. Looks kind of mild compared to Shuda. I was hoping to see more transformations thingy. Okay, so that's it. And we've come to the end. And apparently, um, fans are very happy that Lambda finally gets her 3C skill. So, all right. Um, wish her all the best. And, yep. Okay, this is Kami signing off. Remember to like and subscribe.